Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm Nicole Kamalo and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I really hope you like my videos and I hope you like them enough to subscribe. Today's video is a requested video. Um, so I was on my Instagram, I was posting, you know, the huge. And um, someone requested this video that I'm gonna do for you. I'm just gonna find her name really quickly. Um, her name is The Perfect Freak, and she requested me to do a must-have, like a beginner's must-have um, product. So this is today's video, which you could probably tell by the title already. Um, all the products that I'm going to mention today are products that you, I think you'll definitely like having if you are just starting out with makeup. Obviously, you don't need to have all of them. It depends really on where you're starting out. If you're starting from scratch or if you've been watching videos forever and then you know you want everything, then you're obviously not going to start where the person that doesn't know what to do is going to start. So it really just depends on what level you're on. So um, let's just jump right into the video. So I have a little Ziploc packet here with all the makeup goodies that I'm going to talk about. And yeah. Let's start, I'm not going to follow like the, the face, like how you would do your face. So um, I'm just going to pick random things out of the bag and then talk about them. The first things I'm going to talk about are eyeshadows. Now when I started out with makeup, we didn't have LA Girl in Johannesburg. So, um, but if we did, I would have definitely loved to have these makeup palettes, um, eyeshadow palettes I mean. Um, there's a couple of different colors. This one is my favorite one. It's just nudes with like really neutral colors. This one's pretty out there. It's like a purple one. And then there's a green one as well, which is called the, can't remember. But yeah, there's a, quite a couple of them. I think there's a grayish one that says smoky on it. Um, so yeah, you could buy these. There's so many eyeshadows inside and you can come up with so many different looks with just the one palette if you wanted to. This one's more of a day, every day. Um, you could probably use purple every day as well. But I know a lot of people like more neutral colors. Um, so this is how this palette looks. Really nice neutral colors. You've got your whites, your mauve pinks, your shimmery pinks and browns, and then your dark browns right here. Perfect for every day. I would have loved this to begin with. So um, if you're starting out, you definitely like this. Um, this one has just a lot of purple colors, also starting from light, heading down to darker colors. Um, some of them are cool tones, some of them are neutrals, and then there's a couple, like one warm tone. So yeah, this is really nice as well if you're a little bit on the adventurous side. Um, but yeah, eyeshadow palettes, um, this whole thing I think is about 100 and something, maybe. I'll have all the prices on the screen as well as in the description box so you can check that out but yeah these are really good if you're starting out and you just want something um, that will give you a lot of variety in one little box so yeah perfect for beginners uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the LA girl blush palettes um, this is uh, they're actually called um, the blush collection and there are about four I think um, there's the glam, there's a spice, and then there's two more. The two more um, that I don't have are for um, fairer skin tones. That's why I don't have them. They would have not really worked for me, but I could have used them for other things, which is really nice about makeup. You can use, you can um, enter, what's the word? You can use uh, the same product for multiple purposes, which is really nice. Um, so my favorite out of these two is the spice one. Um, uh, the glam one is a little too pinky for me, but the highlighter has like pinky reflexes, so the highlighter is more on the pink side as well. Even though it's like a gold, it's almost like um, Prosecco Pop by Becca and Jacqueline. And then the bronzer is perfect, I love the bronzer. And then the two uh, blushes, which is um, really nice because you get two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter in this one thing. And I think this is about 100 bucks maybe less. All the prices will be on the screen as well as in the description box. So my favorite is 
the spice one. Um, as you can see, it's a little more um, subtle than the glam one. Um, the blushes, there's a, a guavery kind and a really, really pale kind, which does show up on my skin. And the bronzer is absolutely perfect as well. I really like um, warm bronzers um, with like an orangey undertone. And then there's a highlighter, which is just a nice gold color. Um, and they're pretty pigmented. Oh, stunning. So that's the highlighter. Really nice. It looks really nice on my skin as well. And then the highlighter from the Glam palette. I don't know if you can see the difference, but that one has more of a pink undertone. And then that one is just a neutral kind of um, gold undertone, which is really nice. So yeah, those two would be perfect if you're beginning because um, there's so many different products in the one palette, which is amazing. You can change it up all the time. So I think those are perfect for beginners. Next, we have brows. When I was starting out, I used to use a pencil for my brows. So just like a, a normal pencil to fill them in. But there are eyeshadow palettes. I don't have a pencil. I ran out. So I've been using... Um, an eyebrow palette for my eyebrows um, it looks pretty <laughs> funky because I've been using the hell out of it but yeah it's just got two different shades in it this is a wet and wild one and it has a blonde and a dark brown which is really nice um, but yeah you can find a brow pencil from Discam clicks anywhere as long as you have brow pencil I think that's perfect okay the next thing we're going to talk about is foundations when I started out, I used the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse all the time because I, I didn't know anything else and this was pretty affordable. So I loved this. I loved the way it looked on my skin and at the time I thought it was like the best foundation ever. But there are so many different other, there are so many other different foundations that you can buy now that look so good and that are so affordable. So um, I have... Um, uh, I used to use the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse and then Essence also has one. I'm not too sure what the comparison is between the two, but they're both mousses and the Maybelline one is the one that I used to use all the time. Every day I used to use it. I think I went through one and a half of these, maybe two. Um, so I used to use these. There's a lot of dupes for them. And then um, there are these two from Essence that are really affordable as well. Um, the color range is not the best because it's really hard to find a color if you're not way too dark or way too pale. So yeah, you could probably correct them with some concealer and all that stuff. But yeah, these are very affordable and um, these are great um, to have. You can pick any one if you have oily skin. You can pick the matte one and then this one is a 16 hour one. So it's the all day one. So you can really pick any one according to your skin type. Um, another foundation that I really like, um, all of the ones that I just showed you are all under a hundred bucks. No, the three from Essence are under a hundred bucks. And then the Maybelline one, I'm not too sure, probably like 120, but again, the prices will be down below and on the screen. The next foundation that I have is the one that I use every day right now. I'm completely obsessed with it. I have it on my face right now, and that is the Rimmel. Lasting finished 25 hour foundation. I am in the color almond as well as warm caramel This liquid foundation retails for about 159 Rand I think and that's not pretty it's not bad for the amount of product you get you get 30 mils in this Which is quite a lot. So um, the price is pretty Standard for this um, if you use it every day like I do you should it should last like, I, I don't wear makeup every day, so there are days where I don't wear makeup, um, but yeah, it should last about five, six months, which is great. Um, so yeah, foundation is a definite for beginners, any foundation according to the preference of your skin, but yeah, foundation is an investment that you want to make. Next, I'm going to talk about setting sprays. Now, when I started out, I didn't know what a setting spray was. Um, I didn't use a setting spray, but now that um, everyone watches YouTube videos and they know like what they do with their makeup, a setting spray is always nice. It's not ne necessarily like a must, but it's really nice to kind of just um, like if you use powders on your face, the setting spray kind of like makes the powder like settle into your skin more and then it doesn't look like you have cake 
on your face it doesn't look like powdery it like really settles nicely I think I said like like a hundred times times I think I said like about a hundred times in that sentence but it really makes the powders settle down and kind of sink into your skin which is really nice my favorite is the beauty fix radiant makeup finish spray that's what I'm wearing today um, essence does make their um, own setting spray as well um, these two this one is the affordable one this one's around 200 rand which is not bad for the amount that you get it's 100 ml so that is amazing when I saw that I didn't have any brushes I used to use my mom's brushes and I think the only brushes she had was the blush brush and then the little thing that you get in the eyeshadow palette because she wasn't really like crazy about makeup but there were so many good brushes out there um, the real techniques ones which are now available in South Africa when I started out they were not so yeah the real techniques ones sorry that they're dirty I use them today um, but yeah these are really amazing so fluffy such good quality and they should last you really really long time like they should last really long and then um, these are on the expensive side um, and then there are color brushes from Diskim. these are the blending brushes and these are my favorite blending brushes they are so good I'm probably gonna repurchase another one because I just love the blending brush and then there are Mac brushes which are really 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 expensive um, but um, I guess if you want to invest in something that's gonna last forever a brush for MAC is a really good way to go. <sighs> Not that you need it, it's just you can find an alternative to a MAC brush. You can always find another brand, a more affordable brand. There's a new brand I know that is at Discam. I can't remember the name. I will put it on the screen. But the brushes look really good. I haven't tried them out yet, but they're really affordable and they look just like the Real Techniques ones. Um, if you've seen them from Discam, you probably know which ones I'm talking about. They're in like a black box and then there's a, a set that's like white and black and then there's like purple and blue ones. So I really want to try those out. Okay, we're well, almost at the end. Uh, the next couple of stuff that I want to talk about are mascara. Um, uh, definitely a must to have in your makeup, makeup collection um, as a beginner. Um, I used to use the Rimmel Accelerate Mascara when I started out and then I fell in love with the Essence Princess Lash Mascara. Um, depending on what effect you want, the wand will differ, but sure, that's how this wand looks. Um, this one gives really nice volume because it is a volume mascara and then um, this one, uh, which is a new one, Forbidden Volume as well, this one. Um, it's more chunky and definitely uh, puts a lot of product on so depending on what you want these are pretty affordable these are under 60 bucks and the Rimmel one I think is about 89 Rand um, so yeah those mascara mascara in general is a good way to go if you want to accentuate your lashes next I have a primer um, this is the Maybelline baby skin primer um, when I started out, I didn't use a primer, um, but as I got into makeup, I started using primers because I knew what they did for your skin. Um, you don't really need one, but it's nice to have one. This one is um, probably the most affordable one I have because I know that Essence doesn't make a primer. So this one is really nice. It's under 100 bucks, if not 100 on the dot. But this one erases pores. Well, it doesn't erase them completely, but it smooths them out and makes them look um, less visible. So yeah, that's just nice. Just put as a base under your foundation. It should last you a pretty long time. That's another thing you must have in your kit as a beginner. You don't really need it, but it's really nice to have. Um, the last couple of things. This brow gel from Essence, which is really nice. I have it on my brows today. It's it was clear when I purchased it, but because of all the brow product, it kind of changed color. But this is really nice on top of your brows. This just secures them and makes them really, really, really stay the longest. I've seen the difference it makes with this on and with the art. So I think a moisturizer and a lip balm 
just to keep your face and your lips moisturized I think it's really important to keep your skin hydrated and your skin looking really well and to treat your skin while you're putting all this um, makeup on top of it is really important so those two I think are must must haves for beginners and then the last two products um, when I started out I didn't use any concealer because I didn't know what to use it for but now that there's so many videos that show you how to use different products I think a concealer as a beginner is really nice especially if you have um, any dark circles you want to cover up or if you just want to give your face like a balanced look so with the foundation and then have like a little brightness underneath your eyes I think the concealer looks really good this is the Elego Pro Concealer and this is about 59 bucks I think but again prices will be on the screen as well as in the description box so yeah, this is really good. I think it does wonders. Um, you don't need it, especially if you use your foundation everywhere and you don't really want to brighten or you just want to use foundation as a liquid. You can always um, use powders after that. But I think a concealer is really nice to cover up any dark circles that you might have that you want to conceal. And then last but not least is eyeliner. Um, I know that everything, every brand makes their own eyeliner. I know um, Essence has a lot of liquid eyeliners um, they have a lot of pen salt tip kind of eyeliners um, but sure yeah. um, LA Girl also has a pot eyeliner like this inlet one that I have right here um, so there are a lot of different eyeliners out there me personally I prefer a gel but again you'd have to test them all out in order to find which one works better for you so you can buy Essence, you can buy Inglot, you can buy MAC, you can buy, there are so many different brands, Rimmel, um, what else, Rimmel, Maybelline, all of them make eyeliners, so you need to find out which one you like best and which one is easiest for you to work with and then buy that one. An eyeliner is definitely a must have in your makeup collection, uh, it was for me, so I think it would be really nice. Um, item to have in there just to kind of make your look a little bit more edgy and yeah that is all the must-have products that I think are really important for a beginner okay so that is the end of the video I really hope you guys liked it I really hope it helped I hope it answered all of your questions um, if you have any other suggestions just leave them in the comment section right down below don't forget to subscribe, there's a red button that says subscribe right down. If you scroll a little bit, you'll see it and it says subscribe and you just have to click on it. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat. I'm really active on all three of those and all three of them will be on the screen and in the description box. So you can check me out on all those. I really do interact with people who comment on Instagram as well as send me Snapchats. Um, so those are the three social medias that I use the most. Also, don't forget to like and maybe share the video just in case someone else would like to know about the must-have products that they um, not necessarily need but they can have in their makeup collection. And before I forget, I really wanted to ask you guys if you um, were interested in seeing a vlog. I recently went on holiday to Zanzibar and um the vlog the entire footage i did on my phone it was my first time vlogging so i did all the footage in um portrait and still landscape so everything is gonna be like really small with like a lot of black on the side so i wanted to know if you guys had a problem with that if you wanted to see that video still even though it's um all in portrait if you wanted to see everything we did in zanzibar it was amazing the footage is so nice but um except for that um portrait part but y'all yeah, please let me know in the comment section if you don't mind seeing the footage in portrait and if you still want me to upload even though the um the footage is gonna have the black parts on the side and then the just the footage in the middle um i know a lot of people hate that but if you are interested in still seeing the footage just leave a comment and then um, you guys can like the comment that someone left and then I'll know if you guys want to see the footage also I was wondering if you guys wanted to see more um, 
I know I do a lot of uh, makeup on my channel, but I wanted to know if you see like fashion stuff. So if you wanted to see what I wore in Zanzibar, um, the swimsuits and all the outfits that I wore, um, I can do a video on that as well. So yeah, definitely know. If, let me know if you want to see um, a little bit more fashion from me because I really like doing that. I post outfit of the days on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, I will leave it right here. But yeah, I really like doing on foot of the days and you know, I really like fashion and all that stuff. So if you want to see everything that I wore, then just leave a comment as well and I will uh, get that done for you. Bye.